What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Madden 22 video. In this video, I'm going to be going over part two of my Raiders mini scheme, Las Vegas Raiders tour. In the first video, I went over my audibles and my abilities. So if you haven't checked that out already, go check it out because it will, you know, give you the knowledge you need for this video and the videos going forth. And I still haven't decided how many videos I'm going to make this. It's probably going to be three to four videos all together. But um, one thing I really want to get across my mind before we even get into this is like um, over the past like you know a couple years I was like I feel like I was more systematic than I am this year uh, last year and this year it's been a lot of freestyling so you know there are no like really exact setups to this video um, a lot of these plays have multiple setups so you know I'll try my best to write them down in the description but do your best and lurk or you know watch and learn and uh, from there, you know, you will get the gist of it. But like I said, you know, going back to Madden 20, um, even Madden 19, it was a lot more systematic for myself. Hopefully next year I could get back into that system. But, you know, this year it was really this and last year were really the first years of like audibling around and a lot of freestyling, like just depending on what type of play you want to run, what type of play you're feeling. Um, you could obviously run a lot of system and a lot of people do run systematic offenses this year. But uh, as of lately, I have been on my freestyle stuff and hopefully I could, you know, get back to the robot that I know I could be next year. But for this year and this video specifically, it's going to be a lot of freestyling. And, you know, maybe you guys may like it. Maybe you might, guys might not like it. But that's what I feel like uh, makes Raiders playbook so easy to run is you could freestyle a lot. So, you know, just take that with a grain of salt and, you know, hopefully apply that knowledge to the Raiders tour. It's a lot of freestyling. And, you know, it could be either good or bad to each his own, man. Best of luck running this mini scheme. It is super fire, but like I said, it is a lot of um, freestyling or thinking on the fly type of thing. So first off, first things first, we're going to go over the bunch. And this whole video might be dedicated to the bunch. And guys, stick to the end. I might run like a play. I might run a drive or two on Mutt Head to Head. Show you the, you know, plays in real time and... You know, versus a real person, right? Because computer mode, you know, you could throw anything versus a computer. But, you know, in the real flesh, in the real, you know, versus a real person, it's going to be the best type of example for you guys. So starting it off, okay, let's just say we are on a hash, right? Think of this as like, you know, I'm playing a real game. Starting off, we are like in the middle of the field. I'm going to run flood every single time. You can run verticals um, and, you know, we'll get into that. But trust me, guys, I love starting off my drives with a simple flood. And that's all you have to do. And, you know, we do have Howard Master, but it's not going to be too complex. I used to, you know, run a lot of these complex route combos. And, you know, with Howard Master, I would really nerd the game out. This year, you just don't need to. There's no need to due to, you know, Madden 22 being so heavily offensive. Um, you know, it's just so easy to score on offense. Maybe not in the red zone, but, hey, like in just the normal game, it is so easy to score. So we're going to start off with Flood, and I'm going to break down the reads. You guys, I mean, this might be beginner's knowledge for you guys, but Flood is, um, you know, it's so good. It's probably like a top two, top three bunch play in the game. See right here, the flats. If the flats are there, please take it. I know a lot of you guys, and just in general, a lot of other pro Madden players, they don't really look for their flats too much. Right here, once more, Gronk flat is open. And it, this flat is so OP because it beats man coverage. Flood is really like a easy play. It's one hot route, boom. Set up the out route. If the out route's there, you take it. If not, you lowball that. Honestly, that was a pretty bad read. But I I am in the middle of the field. So this is, if I'm in the middle of the field and I want to get to a hash, uh, you know, r whether it be right side, left side, this is what I run to do that. And, you know, it's pretty simple and it's pretty easy to run um, versus the computer. Like right here, I have the flat open. I'm going to wait a little bit, throw the in route. And I really never really even look for the in route. I always look for the out routes or, you know, the deep out route. But yeah, that's flood for you. It's super simple. No need to make it more complex than this. There is also one more thing you could do if you'd like. And that is just put a hitch. You could put a hitch right here and make this a super high low. Like right here, boom. Easy hitch yard for like five to six yards. So that's sort of that's what flood is looking like. Super simple for me. It's either you do this or you do this. And you just keep mixing it up. Run it right side, run it left side. Take your flats when they're there. Take your out routes when they're there. And you guys probably already know how to run this play to a perfection. But um, 
you know, this is just for some of those new guys that want to get into the Vegas tour or just in general want to be popping. See right here, once more flood. So that's flood free. I'm not going to keep it super long and complex. That's such an easy route, such an easy play. And I'll run that probably like eight to nine times a game, honestly, especially when I'm in that clock mode. Just remember, guys, at the end of this video, I will be doing like a drive or two in my head to head. This video may turn out to be a little longer, but hopefully it's for the better. Next play we're going to go into is probably the best play in the game. Gun bunch verticals. And there's two setups to this play that I love a lot. I'll break down both of them. One is the five out running back on a wheel route or a out route or an in route. I, I consider this all the same, right? Um... You know, I'm not going to go by specific, like, you know, breakdowns for one route, right? So this one right here is really good because, um, you know, let's just say your opponent's blitzing you a lot and they're continuing to blitz you, continue to blitz you. This is such an easy, easy play to make and an easy read to make. See right here, we're going to low ball these uh, wheel routes and we got two low ball wheel routes that we could hit. One is to the running back and one is to the tight end and this, per se they're manned up. Or just in general, if you want to beat them in zone. So this right here, we have five out. So you have to make a read pretty fast. But this is why I use fearless. Just in case, you know, a free runner comes in, I'll be able to make that throw per perfectly. As right here, once more, we're just going to hit R1. That crosser will always be there. And it'll always be open. Um, there are times where your opponent might have like a 30 and have it manned up. And, you know, that's why we have these other routes and other reads on the play. Right here, I'm going to lowball this. Um, I got a low pass in accurate. Sometimes that will happen. And sometimes you can get unlucky on these low ball wheel routes. So just be aware of that. But, you know, m for most of the time, you're going to throw those low ball wheel routes with so much confidence and so much, you know, so easy, right? Right here, once more, low ball wheel route. And I don't know what's going on with Giovanni Bernard, but you get the point. And you guys saw this be meta like in the tourneys, right? And th there's a reason it's meta because it's just pretty much unguardable. Um, the only way you can really beat this play is if you blitz and have a perfect user. But for the most part, too many low ball wheel routes on the field. And yeah, that's why we need to get frapped on the, on the field. But um, let's just say like, you know, you man up a wheel route. You just low ball right in front of them. Or they have a zone right there. Like I could just low ball it. You got to get the timing down and the, you know, user catch down. Because see right here, I kind of click on and I kind of try to, you know, low ball catch it right in front of them. But I just don't get the animation or the catch. So, you know, with time and with practice, you will master this, but it's just so easy. And there's something glitch with Bernard, but, you know, obviously, like, anyone else is catching that, especially if you have, like, back to a master. But you see right here, um, there's just options on this play. Right here, we had the wheel route going to the sideline, the cover two beater. And, you know, this is just like a, if you really want to get into it and really want to be complex with it, this is what all the pros run. See right here, I was going to have this wheel route open um, you know, that soft spot kind of played it really well. And by the time the Niners pass rush got there. So, you know, there will be times where like, dang, I got sacked. You are on a timer when you run this play right here. We're going to try to throw this again. And there it is this time. Um, you know, just a cover two beater and that's verticals for you. Setup number one. Um, I'm, I've been trying to lowball this wheel route to you guys. Like I'll, I'm trying to show you, but he just keeps dropping it. And there he goes. He finally catches it. So even when you think it's guarded, it's not really guarded. Just master the timing and practice mode, master the precision. And, you know, like I said, you have two of those things. You could do one to the left and you could do one to the right. And you don't have to lowball it if it's wide open. You know, get your rack yards, do what you have to do. But that's setup number one. The next setup I do like is this setup right here. Let's just say you're playing 3-3-5 wide or, you know, some type of blitz. Um, and you know, if sometimes if you play against a blitz, you can block your tight end and it will pick it up. This is another great route combo, especially if you have backfield mismatch that you can run. Let's just say you're running someone on R1, uh, like, you know, deep out of lead route tech, you know, R1 is going to be probably taken by their user, right? Most of the times, um, you know, people are using R1 or the crosser, I should say. So with that, you run another unguardable route dang near in the halfback angle route. And this angle route, you know, you also have to kind of guard it by using it. There are other ways to guard it, but no one, you know, there's no really like right there. Boom. Let's just say that was the user. We throw the crosser and 
not really much they could do. So, like, I feel like these two routes on the field together, it's pretty tough to stop. Um, I do know, like, a three rec would kind of play this really well. But even with that, if you mix it up and you flip and you do a bunch of things, you are going to make it tough for the, your opponent. And remember, word of the wise right here, we are running our bunch short side. So I'll flip it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, these plays probably still will work on the long side of the field. But for the, for the best success, you want to run these plays short side. And obviously, if you have your setups already on each side, keep, continue to run them. You know, you, you run them and you have success for a reason. Just think of these as add-on plays. Don't completely switch your scheme up for this. So let me break down what I'm talking about with the short side, long side stuff. So right here, we are on the short side of the field. If we were to flip it, now we are on the long side of the field. I'm going to respot the ball just to show you guys, like, you could run it to each side. As we go right here, boom, same type of ordeal. We're going to have R1 open. We had R1 open, but we got shut it. So that's verticals. I keep it super simple, man. There's so many combos you could run in this game, but I love to keep it simple. Um, and, you know, just move on to the next play. There's no need to overcomplicate things in this year's Madden. I have a few more bunch plays for you guys, and then I'm going to try to get that drive in. This video is already turning out to be longer than I expected, so forgive me on that, guys. The next three plays I'm probably going to run are Y curl, bunch trail, and some variation of a tight end, or excuse me, some variation of a pat sail, and you'll see what I'm talking about when I get there. For bunch trail, guys, this is a great route combo that I like to run. I'm going to run this out route to the left side or the right side, depending on the side of the field you are on. Once more, this is short side bunch. I love this wheel route right here just to occupy some zones on the right. And then I love this angle route coming across the middle, kind of as like a, you know, last option. But for your main read is always going to be this deep post to whoever is running that at, th at that point, it was Godwin. This deep post is pretty much unguardable. There are things you could do to guard it. But for the most part, you know, you just have to send heat or rely on a shed. Because that post is always there, man. And hopefully that's something that is fixed next year. But Bunch Trail, this is why I love Raiders, man. You have a option of, you know, not having to use like a, a Hot Rod Master post. Bunch Trail, I feel like, is a better post than, you know, some of those other posts that people run. Um, right here, we are going to have the post again. And, you know, just make, if you have Deep Out Elite, you're going to be guaranteed great results on that Deep Post. Right here on the left side of the field, you could always throw this out route if they're running like a Mabel. Right here, they actually ran man and boom, perfect. I know I had the post, but that's what I love the angle route for. Once more, you are on a timer when you run this play, so beware. Um, you know, you could definitely get screamed at, but once more right there. Angle route, I have Gronk who is super slow, but you know, for the most part, if you have Vernon Davis or someone there, you are going to torch man coverage. They do run zone. You could sneak in these corner routes. Just make sure you practice your timing on that. And that is pretty much it for Bunch Trail. You could always run it the stock way. Another great way that I like to run it is block your tight end, put your in route on your running back, and you get this high low on the left, get a nice user catch, and the post will still be there. So that's Bunch Trail for you guys. Here's wide curl for you guys. This is a nice combo. I actually don't run this play too much, but you know, it is really, really effective when, don't show that. Here's wide curl guys. You could run this to both sides of the field. Here's a nice little route combo. If someone's blitzing continuously. You could just take this flat right here. And this is actually a play I don't really run too much anymore, but it, it still has really good results. Um, when throwing to this receiver right here if they run like a cover three press this guy is always going to torch and you know you'll have them in that little window just don't get baited you could definitely get baited on that and if they do run their like right here right now the safety on the right is in the third instead of a purple but if he were to be in the third uh or if he were to be in a purple 
And then like it, this would be like a one play touchdown type of thing. So that's one route combo I like. I also like, you know, low balling to R1 right here. This is a little scary, so watch out. But, you know, if you see the look, you could always low ball that right in that little timing window. And, you know, another great thing is this uh, flat route on the left is always open if they run like a Mabel. And if you don't know what that means is basically this purple is going to match onto the R1 route. See right here, this flat is wide open every single time. And lastly, guys, for, you know, there are so many good plays. There's Z-Spot and Go. I might talk about that a little bit in the next video. This video is already turning out la uh, longer than I expected. Um, but, you know, lastly, bunch player that I like to run here and there, it's really good versus dollar, really good versus uh, wide, etc., etc., is this Pat Sale Crosser. So I'm going to put a crossing route on Mike Evans. I'm going to flip my play. And from here, you can do whatever you want. There's a couple combos that I like. One is right here, get the high-low on the right, on the left, with the crosser going across the middle. Boom, this is what I'm talking about. We got screamed at. You got to watch out. But, you know, if you have a fast QB, you can roll out to the right or the, the left, just depending on where your tight end is and where you're running the play. Always block your tight end for, you know, more time in the pocket. But right here, if you have that look, always hit that slant. Or the out route, you know, don't, you know, don't really always look for the deep play. Try to look underneath if it is there. I know you could get so many yards on this out route. Running back out routes are definitely the hardest thing to guard in this game. Outs or ins, see right here. Simple out route gets us like 10 to 15 yards. So always look underneath first. And then there are times where I look underneath and like, dang, I missed a deep play. But it is what it is, right? You still made the right read. And, you know, you might, you know, it might be there for the future. And if time, get, if you have time in the pocket, you'll have this crossing route open every single time. And that's this little, I don't even know what you could call this. I like running this out of PA post for uh, the best and most amount of time. There are other combos you could do. You could do something like this. You could do something like this. There's, you know, there's just so many route combos you could do with this play. And that's what I'm talking about with the freestyle. See right here, we had Mike Evans open, clearing open. And this is like my big hitter play, um, you know. Bunch has a lot of like one play touchdowns and all that type of stuff, but this post, you know, if you if you really run the offense right and correctly, you are gonna get so many yards with this you know play right here. And this is the big hitter. I'm gonna run a driver to my head to head and just um probably call it. If you guys did enjoy this video and you guys are looking for the next video, just be, where, uh, be patient with me as, you know, there are so many plays in this playbook and I'm just trying to get you the best knowledge and the best plays at the right time. So here's going to be a drive that I run and, you know, just take notes on this. And this is kind of how I run my offense. This is bunch only. I'm going to get into everything else later and it's going to be super fire. But, you know, think of this as kind of just a bunch only. See right here, first and 20, house rules. But this is my big hitter play right here. I'm going to call a timeout. Sometimes that happens, so, you know, it is pretty annoying when that happens to the R1 receiver where your streak kind of runs inside.
But see right here, guys, we're just going to go with a high low on the left, a crosser on the right. He might have his zone drops set to a nice preference. But see right here, we are going to have um, the crossing route open late. And Randall Cunningham makes a great throw. He actually had a pretty good defense on that. I want to say that was cover six match, and it was. And, you know, just good defense right there from my opponent. Right here, we are going to run flood, and we're looking for this tight end route early and often. Right here. He actually doesn't give it to us, but we're going to have the out route open to Randy Moss. I'm just going to run the ball in and just see what happens. So you could just post comment in the next, the next time I'm talking. So you see right there, guys, we hit our big hitter play. We ran flood. Um, and, you know, he's continued to run this big nickel over G. Right here, we're going to go with a five out. And you could always run like a, like a, um, you could always, sorry. <laughs> you could always run an out route or an in route to your running back, depending on how you feel of the play. But for the most part, you know, you will still get the results. I will say bunch trail isn't that effective from this close, but we are going to give it a shot. Um, and match always like just random match always kind of throws me a little bit off guard right here He's in man coverage and look at that angle route. I mean, that's just as open as it's gonna get I'm gonna try to make a move And yeah, man if I were to be in the red zone, I'm running base a lot I'm running wide curl and I'm running this play right here because it's so effective Flood once more looking for the tight end early and often and he, we're gonna have him. He's manned up That's what I was talking about. It looked a little scary but you could still throw that with a pass lead and get those yards. And that's going to be it for this video. Uh, next video, I'll be showing you guys a bunch tight end, tray, and tight. And, you know, hopefully I could show all three in one video. But it's probably going to be two in one or something like that. And I'm going to show you the audibles and why it's called a tour. So, you know, take this as just bunch only for this video, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.